Hey guys, welcome to BSL Season 12 Chobo League, Round of 8. We've already seen Exit advance to the Round of 4. Dentarg also advances to the Round of 4, by the way, with a walkover. I need to figure out who we did the walkover over. It's weird to say that twice in a row. Twice in a row. This is going to be Rancor versus Turtle. Best of 5, Game 1. But upper left-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the Red Zerg. Upper right-hand corner, we have Art of Turtle starting as the Blue Zerg. This is TVT, and I should have checked the map. I need to remember to check the map. This looks like Shakura's Plateau. And both these guys, really good players. We saw Rancor having kind of that really aggressive economic style. The Art of Turtle lives up to his main name, was able to turtle up and kind of press through after that. These guys, I'm not sure who to favor in this matchup. Both of these guys are very, very good. I don't know their ZVZ style. Honestly, I'm super excited to be able to actually cast a ZVZ. I'm hoping to see a more macro-oriented ZVC on this match because it is a four-player map, a little bit larger. Overlord looks like Scout for Rancor looks like it is going to come across Art of Turtle's base earlier. Might be able to save a drone or two. However, keep in mind if there's earlier Spire tech that's going to end up being a liability. <laughs> it's kind of the nature of ZVZ sometimes. We do have a spawning pool. Looks like I, I think this is in nine pool. Yeah, nine pool for Rancor. Nine pool gas. No overlord just yet. Upper end corner. We're seeing a 12 pool comparatively, which gives a slight edge. Slight edge to Arter Turtle. It is not game ending. Usually, what you see as far as an opener off of this is oftentimes nine pool speed into a Spire. Only two. Okay, there's a third drone hopping on gas. With. I'm actually curious about the nine, the speed, the Zergling openers in general on this map. I feel like 12 pool is solid and 12 hatch tends to be solid here. But because of that ramp and the ability to defend that ramp, I'm wondering if Zerglings end up paying out as much. What that does do is that gives you a little bit of positional control potentially to take your natural expansion comparatively. We'll see how this plays out. But the later pool basically gives a, slightly edge, a slight edge in economy to Art of Turtle. He's going to build initial two Zerglings. We see initial six Zerglings coming out. Speed being upgraded. And a natural expansion has been grabbed from Art of Turtle. So he's basically going to have six Zerglings, his natural expansion up. But he is going to be going up against Zergling speed, which gives them... They can just be annoying. They're faster, they're smarter units, is what it comes down to. Additional Zerglings being built. And Lair being upgraded behind this from Rancor. Lair also being upgraded from Art of Turtle. Overlord spots everything. Drones coming off the line. Keep in mind, drones, even with the speed, uh, speed Zerglings, can also be defensive units. Art of Turtle getting speed as well. But this is going to be the moment where Rancor, if he's going to win the game, can win it here. Because the speed is finishing right about now. So close to reinforcement point for Art of Turtle. He's behind slightly economically. Of course, there's four drones off the line for Art of Turtle. So that's going to hurt his economy a bit. Superior Lava Count's going to come up for Art of Turtle as soon as that hatchery finishes. It's up. Engaging right now. It looks like he got the better part of that bargain. Or that gambit. Because more Zerglings dead on Art of Turtle's side. More Zerglings being picked off. Drones coming off the line trying to defend this. Still four Zerglings there. Speed's going to finish in not too long for Art of Turtle. And additional Zerglings are starting to flood out. Still doing additional damage. It looks like the rest of the Zerglings might get... Taken out. Some nice micro from Ar Arb Turtle picking up, getting superior units. Rancor continuing to try to apply the pressure and force more Zerglings to be produced. Unfortunately, being behind in the overall larva count, like, and I mean larva, not drones, because he doesn't have a second hatchery, he's going to end up losing that macro battle in the long term. Now he needs to get in a defensive position. Spire about halfway finished for him. And actually, cancellation of the lair from Art of Turtle. I missed this. He wants to get it done with Zerglings alone. He's running up with a lot of Zerglings. So Art of Turtle needs to find some timing here. He needs to press through before that Spire finishes. And just keep up the pressure, keep up the pressure, and never let those Mutalisks be a factor, effectively. More Zerglings, and yeah, it's just going to be a Zergling Flood. He's got a two-drone advantage currently. Zergling's still trying to punch up the ramp, but keep in mind... It's not just the drones, it's the larva at this stage. Rancor preemptively dropping 
a sunken colony. Keep in mind this Overlord is also a liability now for Arter Turtle. Zerglings look like they managed to get up the ramp. Creep Col or Sunken Colony still being developed. Spire is up. Mutalisks are on the way. The Zerglings in here trying to do what they can, disrupt what they can. Opposite corner, we have a Creep Colony dropping down. But Rancor was able to save a lot of drones. So it's going to be seven drones versus seven drones. Arter Turtle is up a natural expansion. But he's down in tech. Creep Colony up on the natural and the main. He does have an evolution chamber. He needs to upgrade to Spore Colony to defend. He's definitely going to end up losing this Overlord. But there's also the Zerglings to the south. Now, here's the thing. Okay, yes, Rancor has Spire Tech. Yes, Mutalisks can kill infinite Zerglings in theory. Trying to draw them off that second mute. Oh, that second Overlord find is huge for Rancor. But the Zerglings in the interim flooding through to the main while those Mutalisks that's, might save that Overlord. I'm not sure. That Sunken Colony is certainly going to get plump dropped. The Zerglings regrouping. They want to try to get as many drones as they possibly can. Regathering, trying to get some attack damage done. That's going to force another Sunken Colony, which is yet another drone down for Rancor. Single Zergling hiding here in the upper right-hand corner. So Arter Turtle doing a good job of forcing Rancor to remain on the defensive. Looks like that single Zergling is going to get spotted. It's going to try to dive in once again. That's also buying time for additional creep colonies to be built. Arter Turtle starting to drone up. He's actually pulled everything off gas to go ahead and get that mineral count up. And Rancor with the superior ground army just trying to sneak around and find what he can can find. It looks like he's going to get another Overlord. And this is such a precise game. Losing that 100 minerals in at this stage can be critical. Layer now upgrading for Arter Turtle. He's got a superior drone count. Rancor now has the initiative. Starting to press forward. Found a little bit of space to at least cancel a creep colony that was building towards the front. He's Moving his Zerglings. He's actually producing Zerglings. It looks like he wants to go for a run by and dive into Arter Turtle's main. Try to win this that way. Arter Turtle, four drones up. Again, still with the superior lava count overall. The Mutalisks are in the main. Looks like they might be able to jump on the second creep colony. There is, or sorry, spore colony. There is the initial spore colony there. Now the Zerglings running by. They want to try to dive on that spore colony before it is able to, to mutate. Zerglings peeling back. This is going to be an interesting situation. The Mutalisks try to do what damage they can. The Zergling's going to sweep in while that's focus firing underneath and take out some of the Zergling defenses otherwise. Spore Colony is up. Is that going to be enough to take it down? Looks like one Mutalisk backing off. The two additional Mutalisks are able to take that Spore Colony out and that is going to create a little bit of a window around the bottom minerals, at least to deny those. More Mutalisks being produced for Rancor. The Zergling's trying to flood across to go for a counterattack that's going to pull these Mutalisks back. So even if there was a window to do some damage there, Arter Turtle making his offense be his defense. Moving in, wants to try to take this Sunk Colony down. There is a single Mutalisk overhead. It looks like the Zerglings, are they going to be able to take it out? Not able to take that Sunk Colony down. Just a sliver of health left, a second Sunk Colony being built. But this has provided time for that layer to complete. Arter Turtle has all sorts of overlords as well. Still no Spire. Spire being built right now. Three drones up still. And still up a hatchery over Rancor. Rancor still has air control though. Things are starting to look more and more in favor of Art of Turtle though. as With that superior economy. And as he's slowly moving forward with these creep colonies. And spore colonies. Because keep in mind if this continues to the point where Rancor is going Spire versus Spire Tech. And if Art of Turtle can keep droning and getting his economy established, essentially there are defenses in Art of Turtle's main and natural expansion, meager as they are. Whereas Rancor has just something calling to try to defend underneath. He's trying to grab his natural expansion now. Looking for opportunities. He's trying to hunt down an additional overlord that might have snuck out there. Somewhere out in the field. Drone count's actually even at this stage. Arb Turtle actually sneaking up too, as I say that. 
both players trying to get as many drones as they can in the midfield. Some eight Zerglings moving out for Art of Turtle. That Spire just finishing. That's going to allow Art of Turtle to get his initial Mulisks out. <clears throat> and the hatchery's not finished. Actually, if they just want to work on this hatchery, they might be able to do... Are they going to be able to force a cancellation? Rancor needs to get this hatchery up, particularly at this stage. The Zerglings pounding away at this formula in the air. And with the Mutalisks coming to reinforce, they're going to go ahead. The Zerglings just going to back off. But in just an instant, all of a sudden, these four Mutalisks that were air advantage, this entire match has been completely neutralized because we have five Mutalisks up in the air for Arbitral comparatively. He's behind a drone overall, but he does have, keep in mind, air defense at his main. The Zerglings cleared out otherwise. So it is now Muta versus Muta in even numbers. Level 1 weapons is being upgraded for Rancor. Art of Turtle with that superior larva count, larva count that's now being mitigated. Starting to sneak back into this match. So right now, Art of Turtle has... This, as far as a lead. He's got latent defenses. However, level 1 weapons is on the way. Rancor does have a second base up, and he is mining critically that second gas. Still anyone's match. A couple Scourge out there for Rancor. He's trying to get this Overlord in a position where it can defend itself. Both players continuing to, to macro up. Arbiter Turtle with a, the slightest of drone leads. With one. Will the positional defense of those spore colonies be enough? That is the question. Eight Mulisks moving their way across the map. Handful of Zerglings trying to provide some scouting information in the meantime. Scourge look like they're going to get picked off before they're able to really be a factor. That's nine Mulisks out comparatively. It looks like there's 10, 11 comparatively. Some Zerglings being picked off. That's going to buy some time to take out that Overlord. That puts Rancor in the red. Both players dead even as far as drone count. I think they're even as far as Mutalist count at this stage as well. But level and weapons... Sorry, 12... Nope, that's still 11. Level and weapons is just now finishing for Rancor. So he's going to want to try to pick some fights potentially. He's also got a creep colony in his natural expansion. It looks like he's going to convert it into a... Something colony, so he doesn't have to worry about ground forces. Something colonies, comparatively. Here's the thing. Zergling kind of sweeping around to make sure nothing's being snuck out there, out in field. Both players playing a little bit passively, a little bit tentatively. Some Zerglings moving out here for Art of Turtle. It looks like he wants to try to get aggressive. He's got a slight supply lead. Again, a one drone count lead. Mutalisks sweeping across. This could be dangerous for Rancor. Especially if there's a dive in right now. If those Scourge can get picked off. A single Zergling scouting. Keep in mind this level one weapons advantage for Rancor. Diving in on those middles. Good surround right there. The Zerglings trying to sweep in. They're going to get taken care of by that something colony. Some Scourge coming in for Art of Turtle. Clearing things out otherwise. And the focus micro it looks like is. But the closer reinforcement point with Scourge getting on top of Art of Turtle's Mutalisks. And Art of Turtle ends up winning through some nice. Well maybe focus fire. It's going to be close. More Scourge moving in. Just barely wins it with one Mutalisk up in the air. Scourge now trying to take out some Overlords. I don't know that that's going to do a lot here, though, against Rancor currently. He's got plenty of free supply. And now with the Scourge up in the air, it's basically a complete reset. Scourge chasing down the Mutalisk otherwise. Armor 1 now upgrading for Rancor. And it looks like that Scourge is diving into that Spore Colony line. My curiosity is, is how much gas did each player have banked coming out of this fight? And how quickly are they going to be able to replenish the Mutalisks? And is Art of Turtle going to be able to jump on top of this? Oh, he's got some Overlords. He needs to be careful with map control now. Because these Overlords are out there and exposed. Comparatively. A couple Scourge out on the ground. It looks like four Mutalisks versus six Mutalisks. Zerglings sneaking underneath, trying to do what they can. Rapidly taken out by that Sutton Colony. Art of Turtle doesn't like what he sees, so he's going to go ahead and back off. 
If Rancor hits that level 1 armor, level 1 weapons, and has even numbers of Mutalisks, that is going to end up giving him the match. Somehow got one drone ahead. Arter Turtle diving in on this once again. With a little bit of positioning, honestly, I feel like he's taking some free damage on retreat. And another Mutalisk moving up wants to try to get the Superior Count here. And I think Rancor should, assuming equivalent micro, should be able to come well ahead of this. Yeah, two Mutalisks left in the air. And he's going to be able to not just wipe these Mutalisks out. He's going to probably be able to get aggressive against Art of Trail. Maybe even, well, maybe, establish a third. So now he's got six Mutalisks out. There's another Mutalisk trying to dive in and maybe take out a drone. Rancor all of a sudden up two drones plus upgrades. And the upgrade advantage is going to continue. Art of Turtle having some trouble with rally points. I'm not sure if these are rally point miss cues or if this is intentional distractionary play. Either way, it's going to play out to his favor. He's got... Mutalisks that were able to return home from the Scourge. Rancor, not able to really jump on top of that. However, he's able to get aggressive now. And that level 1 armor, just about finished. So he's going to have... Next, sorry, is this on the wrong side? Level 1 armor just going to about finish for, for Art of Turtle here? Is that what I'm missing? As I click and it goes the wrong direction. Where are the Mutalisks? Nope. Yeah, okay. So that was weird because it was already showing. Oh, level 2 armor. I take it back. I missed the level 1 armor upgrade. So Rancor has much better Mutalisks up in the air now. Arter Turtle able to sneak, get a handful of drones right there. But as far as just straight up Mutalisks engage, he will obliterate his opponent. So all he has to do, oof, and wiping out units right there. Honestly, Arter Turtle might call GG right here. Because this is a ever-growing Mutalisk army that is... Just pound for pound hits harder. And that's all Rancor has to do at this stage is just sit back, continue to get an overwhelming amount of Mutalisks. He might even be able to sneak an expansion here, to be honest. Certainly has uh, map control otherwise. He's peeling ahead. He's 17 supply ahead. Which is practically an insurmountable advantage. But... Potentially, if Rancor gets overly aggressive, dies into this natural expansion, and is able to engage on this spore line. If he just basically suicides these Mulesks, he still might be able to take, take the match. However, right now as it stands, looks like he's going up to a control group and a half of Mutalisks. Compared to just Art of Turtles 10. And Art of Turtle, keep in mind, is just now starting level 1 armor. And we do have a drone posi in position at that 9 o'clock base to go ahead and grab that. Both players playing very defensively. I like the Scourge kind of using, providing a little bit of scout. Art of Turtle trying to sneak across. There are Zerglings there to go ahead and kill this Zergling. Should it wander into that 9 o'clock location and create any sort of disruption there. Looks like it is. Oh man, these Zerglings. Come on, Zerglings, wake up. Do your work. A little bit of a micro fight. Mulus is pulling back. Going to be able to clear that out. But at this stage, Art Turtle knows that the bell is starting to toll. He's going to try to shell up and grab another spore colony. But this 9 o'clock base, as soon as that is established and running for Ar for Rancor, that, that'll be it. Honestly, it may already be it. Some Mulus getting caught out of position to the north. Art Turtle just eating a bunch of free movement damage now from Rancor and losing a lot of his Mutalisks. Actually, at this stage, I believe Rancor with his near full two control groups could just dive on Art of Turtle's main and win the match. Instead, he's going to go ahead and play it passively, not going to throw the match away. Some Zerglings getting cleared out as they were trying to sneak across. And Art of Turtle calling GG right there. Yeah, realizing the situation. Well played by Rancor. Honestly, typically... When you see a 9-pool opener versus a 12-pool opener, the advantage typically goes to the 12-pool opener, but Rancor did everything he needed to get back in that match and really capitalize all the way across the board and ends up winning it. Well played. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.